<gasps> My project is on the animal, the, the southern white rhino. The southern white rhino's scientific name is Certotherium simum. Its kingdom is Animalia, the phylum is Chordata, the class of the white rhino is Mammalia, order is Parasitactyla, family is Rhinoceratida, genus is Certotherium, and species is Certotherium simum. The southern white rhino is composed of eukaryotic cells and is a multicellular organism. It does not have a cell. <coughs> the growth and development of the southern white rhino is that it is viviparous. It neither has complete nor incomplete metamorphosis. The southern white rhino is heterotrophic. It is also endothermic. The white rhino's eyesight is very bad, so they have to have very good smell and hearing. The white rhino does internal fertilization, sexual reproduction, and separate reproduction with separate sexes. The southern white rhino has multiple adaptions. One of their most needed ones though are the short legs. The short legs help them get food fast before any other organism gets it because there are droughts in Africa. They have to survive off of food for days and water. So short legs help them to get food faster. Also with their big square lips, those help them get food and nutrients faster also before other animals so they don't die of hunger or nutrients. The white rhino has 82 chromosomes. An interesting biochemical component is the rhino's horn. It is made up of primarily protein called keratin. The monomers of the proteins are amino acids. The southern white rhino eats short grass in the savanna. The only danger of the rhino are humans, mostly poachers. The symbiotic relationship between the rhino and tick bird is very interesting. The tick bird comes and lands on the rhino's back, then it eats ticks off of the rhino's back. Both of these animals benefits from this from the symbiotic relationship. The bird benefits obviously because it gets free food from the rhino's back. The rhino benefits because the ticks can harm the rhino and can carry diseases and gives it to the, to the rhinos and they die. So that is the symbiotic relationship between the tick bird and the rhino.